Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you guessed it, we are going to fix this issue here. This is the window or the windshield cowl cover. And it is one piece that runs across the entire width of the windshield. And you have a rubber lip on top that seals, or in most cases, it doesn't seal. And I would almost bet that if you have an F10, you either have this problem right now, or you already had it before. However, luckily it's a pretty really easy fix. There's only, there are two ways to fix it. I'm gonna show you one of them today. Both have the same problem, that the cowl is to come out. And that's where the problem starts. The windshield wipers, these are the problems. If they don't come off, then you will have to get a special tool to pull them off. And I don't have that, and I hope they come off voluntarily. I don't have to force them off but it's pretty much under this cap. You will see it in a moment. You have a nut, you open that, and then you have to take them off. Uh, the cowl itself is just this entire piece here. It runs across the entire width. It's not hold by anything other than a few of these little plastic holders, or the one here. You already see why these have to come off. Also, they are in the way. I will start taking the wipers off. As for the two methods, you have to repair this. Of course, the part is to come out. Option one is you just replace the entire part as it is. Comes with a new rubber lip on there and you're done. It's the easy one. That runs you somewhere between 100 and 150 dollars for the part. Or you do what I'm attempting to do today, which is simply replacing the rubber lip itself. That means cutting the old one off and then fiddling this profile on here looks something like this. And that would replace the rubber lip. Um, never did it myself either. I'm trying this the first time today here. If it doesn't work, I can still get a part. This thing cost me $10 shipped with tax. It's two meter, or supposedly two meter long, which should be enough. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, then I can, change, then I can still change the part later. But it's worth trying because we know these cars do cost a lot in maintenance and upkeep. So if you can repair something instead of replacing it, that's always preferred. So let's start by taking off the caps. We take off, it's probably a 13 millimeter under there, 13 or 15, I'll let you know when I get there. And then we try to get the wipers off. Once they're off, from there it's easy setting. So let's take the caps off first. They should come off easy, just like that. Grab them, pull them, there you go. As for the size, 15 was close, but not close enough, it's a 16. And when loosening them up, you wanna hold the wiper with the other hand to avoid it turning too much, because you see, oh wow. Okay, so this was super loose, Never mind holding it how about here same so these are really super loose should be a little tighter but hey anyway number one number two again 16 millimeter now the fun part time to get them off this loose this loose what does want to come off Go, number one. And number two. I just want to put it up a little bit, then you have space to wiggle it loose. And you can see it's coming loose here. And there we go. So, lucky me, no need for a special tool. Next, I just take off this little cover, it's one on each side. You only have three pushers in here. Take them out. Try not to throw anything inside the engine bay. Makes your life easier. Take these three out. Put this away. This side is even easier. It's only two. Because one I broke before. I'm never bother to replace. Now there are two more steps. But once you have on both sides, on 
both sides. This little plastic screw pusher here. You just take a, a Phillips screwdriver, turn it and maybe you have to wedge a small screwdriver underneath to wiggle it up to, and to wedge it up. This one here, one on the other side. Not making shit up. Of course, it actually comes out. Don't put it all the way. Don't screw that all the way, so you can still put it. That's it. Same on the other side. And lastly, we have all these kind of holders where you just take a 5mm Allen wrench and just give it a 90 degree pull. You will feel it, it just goes edge to edge. Just unlock it and then you can see it's already loose. Funnily enough, or interestingly enough, the driver side are counterclockwise while the passenger side are clockwise. Both to unlock. You know this is tight. Turning clockwise, now it's loose. You can feel it, it's nothing really automatically complicated and one more of course the last one I can reach now the entire cowl is loose I'm going to wiggle it carefully out on the side here so on the other side lift it up a little bit space it's easier to remove from here we haven't forgotten anything it will come out it's just one still of course there's one thing I conveniently ignored which is the pass through for the washer so you have like a plug, a connector up here, easy to take off and you have the, the water supply. You just remove the black um, cap and then it's gonna come loose here. So as far as simply swapping the part goes, this is the old one, you take your new one for your 100, 150 bucks, whatever you pay or you use to in good condition, whatever. And you put it back on and finished. And just for the sake of fun, this is supposed to be a flexible rubber lip. Oops, oops, oops. So what I'm gonna do, I just break this all away as far as it goes. And then I take a knife and just cut it back. You can see where the plastic begins. I will try to cut all the way to the edge. Basically remove this old lip and then I just stick the new one on, that's it. And these here are your locks that you've seen from the other side. Just a 90 degree turn. This is how it's engineered. It's a super simple mechanism. Nothing complex about it. And you see here the difference between driver and passenger side. How it lock in different directions. It's not perfect, but I would assume it's good enough. Of course love these gloves now all that i do is clean this part up a little bit just some window cleaners on windex clean the side here a little bit and then put a new lip on so and finally installing the lip it's very straightforward this is the profile just stick it on here just like this and then all around and you will see that it will lay in here nicely I believe I almost cut away a little bit too much. It's sticking out a little bit. So in the end, it's just gonna grab a little shorter. Shouldn't be a problem. If you are concerned, you can just apply some glue or something, or you go even further. And this here, this edge is still rubber. 
you could cut this piece entirely away here and also this side. I just don't want to cut it all away and flatten it out because it does have some sealing properties along here and I would have to cut away quite some of it which I don't want to. So I'll just stick this on then I'll see how it holds. If it doesn't hold I'm just gonna use some glue. Actually looks pretty nice. It lays nice in here. I put it a little bit on the edge for extra seal. Um, also because I cut it a little, a little short. If you have it a little longer it would perfectly flush go over here. But either way you leave a little bit extra on both sides so you can cut it off straight which I'm gonna do now. And then I put it back in. Installation is just reverse. Put it back in. Overall if you just replace this part by a new one replace it. This shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes, maybe 20 if you never did it before. And you are careful, it's pretty easy. And as you saw, you don't need many tools. A 5mm Allen, a 16 a hex 16 nut, and a Phillips screwdriver. Of course, before you put in the cowl back on, you want to clean the wind tilt under there, because you never get to clean there at least once. You get to do that. And I'm actually going to tighten this down first and then settle the rest for. So a quick update. This is a fail. <laughs> you can fail life with me here. Because you can see that this lip, this is just a shorter piece to demonstrate now. It doesn't really see it, it doesn't touch the windscreen. So this lip is not aggressive enough curved downwards. And if I turn it around, you can, can you see? Yeah, you can see that it's just missing some, right? So maybe this is not the right rubber, even though I used the same piece that I saw someone else using it. Either they cut it differently, or they didn't even show that it looks good at the end and probably, but this is a fail. Not much I can do about it at this point, I'm just ordering a new part. So once I get this, probably in the next two minutes, you see me installing the new part. So this was a fail. However, I'm not giving up yet on it. Today is February 18th, so it's been like two or three weeks since I attempted this repair here, which in my opinion failed. And I just watched another video yesterday um, another youtuber um, grant he did the same repair with the exact same part and he seems happy with it um brief look in my opinion there's still a gap so the seal doesn't really close to the windshield completely so in my opinion it's not working that is why i took it off again and not using it but i also think in my case the gap was even bigger and more consistent so it's an obvious fail maybe it works for him maybe he did a better job than me I'm not rolling with this. And finally, plan B arrived. <laughs> so this is another seal. Um, honestly, it looked more promising when I ordered it. The profile of this, if you get it in focus, is something like this. So you would just like stick it on. It's like a 3M tape here, stick it on, and then it's gonna seal something like this. So I'm gonna try that, see if this works. And honestly, it seems a little smaller than I was hoping for or expected it to be. So I'm not too optimistic about it. But at least I want to give it a try. If it doesn't work, I'm getting a new cowl. Take it with a grain of salt. I came to the conclusion that that seal doesn't work. It is not sealing as it's supposed to be. It's not about just looking new and nice. It's about having an actual function and fulfilling that function. It didn't. I'm testing this seal now, so I'll take it out again install this and see if it does better or not. If it doesn't, I'm getting a new cowl. Also fun fact, you see the wipers on there. So I left them off because how long can it take for the new seal to arrive? And it's not gonna rain while if, yeah, never mind. It did rain a lot. So anyway, it's gonna be easier. Again, we just twisting these with Allen wrench. Also, you notice if you look closely, there is a little arrow. They point down, all of them have them. See, there are two. They point down, that is the locked position. And you just have to unlock them, right? Turn left or right, depending on driver or passenger side. And then of course, the little one out here. Not a big deal. Taking it out, cleaning it up, installing the seal, and then we see about this one. 
And of course, let's not forget the water supply and the connector up here. So I haven't installed the new seal yet, but upon closer inspection, you also see that the rubber on the, this is the passenger side um, wiper blade, the pass through, that one just deteriorates as badly as the actual seal. Somehow the one on the driver side looks better still, but well, this one doesn't. So that again speaks also for a new car wall itself. But let's install it first and see what happens. And then we go from there. So I just installed this lip and to be honest, it doesn't look too shitty. You do have a gap here though. It's the back side. Uh, I did as good as I could. It's not perfectly even, you see the wave here. But it's actually a little better than I expected. Of course, you have to trim off the edges. Because it's longer than what you need. Only concern is the little gap here. Which of course is just the gap of the seal to the plastic. And in between you still have the actual um, the 3M tape. So let's give it a shot. See what it looks like. I don't have too high hopes. But honestly it doesn't look as bad as I expected it to be. So, and if it works, I can still just smear some silicone or whatnot crap in here to seal that if I feel like it. But let's give it a shot first. So I installed the cowl bank with the new seal. Let's take a look. You can clearly see there's a gap here. There's a gap here. There's no gap here, which is nice. It'll gap there again. Another gap there, over also there also. It's not really doing its job, in my opinion. It is supposed to be a sealer. It's supposed to seal the cowl against the windshield. And as you can see, it's not doing that. To me, that's a fail. You can argue with me in the comments if you feel like it, but the pictures speak for themselves. I'm gonna leave this until I get a new cowl, and then we can compare directly I'm doing this test, comparing these two seals with the actual cowl. If the actual cowl is like that, then good for you, you can save. So today I finally continue and finish on the cowl. It's been six weeks. And today, unfortunately, the repair failed. Both attempts failed. And I'm just gonna replace the original part. The first attempt, the first um, seal had a quite big, like about five millimeter gap between the windshield and the actual seal. This is the second attempt, it's a different seal, and it looks a lot better. It actually closes almost all the way, but you can see it does not close here, for example. And down there, so right in the center. And also on the sides, it's kind of like, there's a wide gap here. So yeah, these are the reasons why I don't leave it as it is. And one more, I mean, I'm not stopping you from doing this repair yourself or trying it. It doesn't cost you a lot. But keep in mind, you also have these seals here on your wiper arms. That's the, sa that's the same rubber as the one up here. And it also deteriorates as you can see. So if you have that, then you will likely have to replace the part as you can't really change that seal right there. When you change the part, don't forget to transfer over your covers here. It's a 45 degree. They come off. That's pretty much it. Not much more to take with you. So on the new part, you can also see these are all new and smooth. Let's get it in. It was pretty straightforward, just install it, and now you see the result. The entire lip, I want to make it a little bit here, let it be shadow. It is touching and sealing against the windshield. That's what you would want. Also, again, these are now new, not brittle anymore. And you make sure that you also have seal all the way. Let me pull a little bit. But I feel more comfortable having all the surface sealed again but now it looks nice it seals nice just putting on the wipers again and that is it the wipers don't over torque them 
they have been fairly loose on here anyway. I'm added, I'm also gonna change the wiper blades because I think these are still original. Taking the wiper blades off, once you have it off, it's the easiest thing to see. Turn 90 degrees. You can see it unlocks here. And you simply push it off. That's it. And that is it. The repair attempt failed, so I had to resort to just replacing the part. Which in the end, how all the seals are new and it sits properly. All the little holders, 90 degree turns tight. The water hose is connected. You have the little plastic screw pins on the sides back in. Wipers are on, these are hand tight. Don't overdo them. Wow. And of course, you gotta align it nicely. You don't wanna see them. With that, this is all. Took forever. Finally done, plus my wiper plates. So that didn't really turn out the way I wanted to. I didn't want to replace it originally, but here we go. The rubber just becomes brittle in the sun. The repair, I would say it works. For me, it did not work at all. I tried to, maybe it works for you. It didn't work for me. Wish you good luck, of course. It's not a hard thing to do. It's a simple repair to replace the cowl. And if you want to repair it, go ahead and try. If it works, fantastic. If not, well, then you just have to buy the apple and change the part. Not complicated, same steps. Just cost a little more money. Hope this is any use for you. I would really like to hear who did this repair, who attempted it, and when did it work? How many people did make it work? Tried it twice, didn't work. So if you did it and it works, just drop it in the comments. Maybe this one is on me, but it is what it is. See you next time when this car is finally washed. <laughs>